Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and I'm going to demonstrate to you how I successfully deployed uh, my web application on a virtual machine that is that I deployed on Google Cloud. So after purchasing the cloud or after finishing the cloud things, I was able to land on the dashboard of Google Cloud as you can see it here. Then after I went ahead and went to virtual machine instances and created a new instance. And this is the instance that I created for the virtual machine is that I created and it is based in South African server. Then after doing so, I can be able to start it, to stop it. I can be able to pause it or suspend it and I can also be able to delete the virtual machine. So here are the specifications for my virtual machine. If I click on it, I'll be able to see my specifications. So here they are, and I can be able to edit or modify it if I want. So after creating the virtual machine, I went ahead and the accesses, accessed the virtual machine using the SSH. So if you click here, the SSH, you'll be able to access the terminal of this virtual machine. So here's my SSH. So after accessing the SSH, I was able uh, to install uh, the Apache server and then I was also able to install the MySQL server and uh, I was able to configure this with uh, my system IP. Uh, so after configuring the system, the, 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 the main, the main HTTP, HTTP uh, folder with uh, with my IP, I was able to access the basic or the empty. Uh, then I went ahead and created my project and I pushed the project to the GitHub. And this is the repository. I'll include the repository link in the report. It is a Luganda translated movies uh, system that is built using Laravel. And here is the database and this is the whole system. Then after doing so, I came back to my what to my SSH and cloned the project to the root folder of the system. And then after cloning the project to the root folder of the system, I was able to access the system like this. Let me show you. So this is the system and this is the IP where you can access the system. So it's a Luganda movies system. You can go ahead and log in. So I've provided my logins. I can be able to access the system. And here I have different movies. You can even add some movies. So I have added here a test movie. You can test this movie by clicking on play here. And then you'll be able to do what? To view this movie. You can as well add as much more of movie as possible. And these movies can be accessed using the mobile application. So I'll share this IP in the report of where you can log in and access the system. Uh, so after doing so, I went ahead and the, the, and the implemented load balancing. So to implement the load balancing, I went ahead and searched for load balancing. And then after I was searching for load balancing, I reached here. I went ahead and created a new load balancer and I configured it. And that load balancer, I went ahead and called, I, I called it a movie load balance. And then I can be able to preview it from here. And you can see it is well deployed and the load balancing is running at this level. Then after I went ahead and implemented this load balancing with my existing system, uh, with my existing system that I deployed, which you call the movie instance group. And that's why I implemented it to be in that computer. I mean, on the computer or the virtual machine that I deployed. Then at this level, I went ahead and created the health check instance. And here I can be able to monitor my system. I can be able to monitor my what? My system under what? Under monitoring overview. So, and I can see here the number of virtual machines that are running and the one that have been load balanced. So, that's how I implemented the what? The load balancing. And uh, now my system is actually fast compared to, uh, to when it was before I implemented load balancing. So, that's it. I will share the link and the logins for the system.